Ave Maria, brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining our Mother and Refuge of the End Times. Today, we would like to share with you a true story that we received from one of our subscribers. We hope you enjoy this little gem from the animal kingdom whose cues often speak louder than words. The post reads like this, quote, The dog in the photo is a rescue dog. He is trained to sit like this when he identifies life, such as someone buried in the rubble of a house after an earthquake or a fugitive trying to hide from the police. In October 1995, Pope John Paul was scheduled to meet seminarians at St. Mary's Seminary in Baltimore. It had been a long day for the pontiff. The plan was for him to just shake hands with the seminarians on the steps of the church. However, John Paul insisted on going inside to visit the Blessed Sacrament. The church had not been checked out by security staff who swung into action, taking the dogs inside. The dogs were sent all over the building, into classrooms, storerooms, offices and bedrooms, checking for signs of someone there. Nobody was found. Then this dog was sent into the chapel and onto the sanctuary, where it suddenly stopped in front of the tabernacle and sat down, rigid in the position it was trained to adopt when it detected life. It sniffed, whined, pointed, and refused to leave. The rescue team stared at the tabernacle. Surely someone could not be hiding within it. The post continues, quote, When I was a Protestant, I convinced myself that communion was just a remembrance, a symbol and nothing more. I dismissed the theology which, based on scripture, insisted Jesus was the living presence, the Eucharist, the theology of the Blessed Sacrament. Not just a remembrance, not just a symbol, not just a piece of bread, not just a drink of grape juice, but the living presence." End quote. Brothers and sisters, may we take our cues from this furry creature of God and run to adore our Lord Jesus Christ at the foot of the nearest tabernacle. He who first came to us as a humble little child in the poverty of the manger eagerly awaits us daily, truly presence in the humility of a piece of bread consecrated to become the bread of angels, sweetly hidden in the most blessed sacrament on the altar. Let us kneel at his feet as Mary did and bask in his presence, joyfully accepting all the graces he so generously wishes to lavish upon us from his prison of love. All the answers we will ever need rest in him. Please join us, therefore, to adore our Lord live, 24-7, from the Divine Mercy Center in Calgary, Canada. This includes the Divine Mercy Chaplet and Litany before the Most Blessed Sacrament on the altar in our channel's prayer room titled Divine Mercy Adoration. May God bless you abundantly.